What's up guys? So today is the first day the Vortex Z sees the track for the first time ever on Boost. Um, it is a roll racing event, so that's why I chose this one as a first event. It'll be a little easier on the car, learning it. Um, I did just go do some pulls and just kind of spins the tires away, but we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. Obviously this is the first time, so it's uh, more of a testing tune type of night for for me but we'll update you on the way this is also joey's first time on the car while boosted i believe so we'll do a little reaction video on the way there as well um but wish us luck so what's up guys this is joey long time friend from uh, high school first time in a uh, boosted z i believe yeah boosted bq We made it to the track about an hour early letting her cool off we have a good day ahead of us so far everything's been good we made it safe and sound we have our buddy here from PSO as well nitrous c6 Changing lanes. Matt's our friend, his dad. I guess he's gonna try with me. I'm gonna get gapped. It's a Z06, clearly I'm gonna get gapped. But he said he wants to try it out. 40 roll, first race. You ready to gap me? don't think I was very aggressive but it wasn't terrible um, and it was 116 a little disappointed I was hoping for 120 but we'll see um, it is a fully tensioned belt uh, maybe I could do some mods to help the belt slip but yeah I only saw around 7 to 8 psi up top um, usually I'm seeing 9 but we'll see uh, I'm gonna try a little more aggressive now on this next Pass 116 on a 40 roll, by the way. What's up, guys? So, 40 rolls, 
116.2 first run, 116.8 second run. Like I said, a little disappointed. For some reason, the car is only seeing seven pounds of boost. Um, I'd have to look into it once I get back home if it's a belt slip or a boost leak, a coupler, something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's only seeing seven pounds up top. But at least she's still in one piece. doing a dig um 13 5 at 112 terrible as hell look at that 60 foot 2.68 what the beep is that but she's still one piece that's what's important we're out here still i'm gonna let her cool off a little bit try again see what i could get there's fast cars out here man lots of money lots of money we have uh, Leandro here, putting his bottle on. Look at this, look how rich this guy is. Look at, look at that, look at that. All right, Joey and Anthony are racing. 5.0 R80, F-150 versus Lightning. By the way, I'm racing the F-150 next, I'm gonna get gapped. Feel too bad now. Yeah. <laughs> First time on the nitrous. Let's see what it does.
What's up guys? As you can see, it is the next day. I did make it back home safe and sound. Um, a little disappointed on the times it was uh, doing. I did get a terrible 60 foot, so we are going to go back in a couple weeks and see how she acts. Um, I was only seeing around 7 pounds of boost uh, that day. I did some research and I was seeing that uh, it could be belt shavings inside the pulley. So I cleaned that up a bit. I'm going to see uh, how that goes. I have a couple little upgrades in mind that I want to do uh, before throwing a smaller pulley in. Uh, just to see if I can get in the power band a little better. So maybe, you know, go with the... My my real plan is to go with the 369 rear diff from a G37 or 370 manual. Um, that, that should put me in the power band a lot sooner. Instead of seeing around 4 PSI when I shift, I might see maybe 6, which is a pretty big difference. So we'll see how that goes. I don't need to retune for that yet. So I want to try that out before throwing the smaller pulley on it, the 287. Um, but... We are gonna go back on the same setup in a couple days, in a couple weeks, and I'm gonna keep trying it out, try to see if I can get a better 60 foot, and see if I can get maybe to trap 115. I was in the high one, 112 or 113. I don't remember too off the top of my head, but it wasn't impressive at all. I did also get this little duct that I'm gonna put on um, to get direct air. As you know, I don't have any uh, cold air filter or nothing. So it's super hot in there. I know for boost, uh, hot air is a big thing. So that should help. I will probably do a little video about that in a uh, couple days. And we'll see if that helps some. I'm going to put throw a new belt on it and clean the pulley very well uh, next time I go to the track. I do have a little update for you here as well. I grabbed this G35 for part out. Um, but I am going to be keeping the Brembo's off of it. I'm going to paint them up and throw them on. Uh, that's going to be a huge plus for my uh, 350Z here. So that's just a little update that we had on the on Miguel's Fortex Z. Um, if you have any questions, as always, just let us know.